Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it can be to draw this beautiful monarch butterfly. If you're a teacher you can click on the link in the description below to download a lesson plan and worksheet for this art. To create our butterfly you're going to need a piece of paper, your pencil and a set of oil pastels. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is draw our butterfly in pencil. Now you're going to use a pencil, I'm going to use my black pen so that you can see my picture nice and clearly. Now we're going to start with the butterfly's body and we want it to be on the left hand side of the page because remember we are emphasizing these great big butterfly wings so they should take up most of the page. So on the side of your page if you think, if you know thirds, maybe a third of the way, so I'm one third of the way through the page here. I'm going to draw my circle for the butterfly's head and then a nice long skinny oval for the butterfly's body. I've done it at a little bit of an angle, so it's not straight in a line, it's curved to the side a little bit. Then we're going to draw the butterfly's two little feelers. Next we're going to draw the butterfly's tongue. This is called the proboscis, and the butterfly actually uses this to get right into a flower and suck up the nectar of the flower. And then we're just going to draw two little legs on the side. They kind of look like this flattened out V, and I've made them a little bit fat. So we've done his top ones, and we're going to do some more down here. Again, a V shape. Right, now we're going to get started with the butterfly's wings. So we're going to start about halfway down his body and just draw a nice big circle, circular shape. Okay, now we're going to do his top wings. I'm going to start with an oval, so from his body I'm going to draw an oval up as high as I want that wing to come. And then from this oval let it come in a little bit and then you can bring it down and join the bottom wing. So we've used this oval to help us get the shape of the top wing. Okay, I'm just going to draw a nice thick outline around the edge of my butterfly now that I'm happy with it. So you should always press lightly until you're happy with how your drawing has come out. Then if you need to, you can go a little bit darker. Sometimes if you have lots of light lines, you get a little bit confused. Um, so once you are happy with a drawing, you can go over it again and, and make it a little bit darker so that you know what's going on. Right, next we're going to add the details in the butterfly's wings. So let's start with this bottom wing. From the middle of it here, well from the start, you're going to have a nice big oval. Okay, then we're going to mark off the end of the butterfly's wings because that's where all the little it's black with lots of little white dots and from this oval to this line we're going to draw smaller ovals coming off it so I've got one here I'm going to draw one along the bottom over here these ovals they should be quite close together but there should be space in between them um, for the black outline. So each of these little ovals has a black outline around it. You can see my last one is kind of a more of a triangle shape. So I'm saying oval but use the shape that you've got left or the space that you've got left. Okay, so we've drawn out our plan for our bottom wing. Let's add our patterns on our top wing. And this is very similar. We're going to start at the top of the wing with a nice big oval. So that's the base of it. Again, the edges of the wing have got the black with the little white dots. So we're just going to mark off a space to keep for them. And then again, smaller ovals from the big oval to the outside edge. Okay, 
they're going to get slightly bigger as you get to the bottom and then the last one again is going to be quite large and probably not a perfectly oval shape just use the space that's left okay so now we have the plan for our butterfly we can start coloring it in right we only need three pastels to color this picture in you need a nice dark orange if you have the same pastels as me that is orange number three and I'm using a nice, my brightest yellow, it's called lemon yellow, and it's number one, and then our black. Now, um, black can look really nice on a picture and finish it off well, but if you start with black, it ends up smudging into the rest of your colors and making everything look a little bit dirty. So we're going to put our black aside for now and we'll finish off our picture with that black. We're going to start with our orange and our yellow. We're going to color in each of these ovals that we drew on his wings. The ovals are all going to be colored in in exactly the same way. It's a really simple technique for blending two colors together. So you outline it in the darker color. For our butterfly, the darker color is going to be the orange. I'm pressing nice and hard and um, outlining it. And then I'm going to do some lighter coloring on on the inside of that line. So I'm not coloring in the whole oval, I'm just coloring in a section of it. And then I'm going to take my yellow and color over this and I'm going to color in little circles. Now where you've pressed hard with your orange, you haven't left space for any other color. So we're going to have a nice orange outline. But where you've pressed lightly, there's still a little bit of paper there and there's space for the yellow to mix in with the orange. Okay, and we're just coloring in little circles like we're mixing the two colors together and slowly moving into the middle where it's going to be more yellow. Now this is a really clever quick trick um, for blending two colors together and it's nice because it creates different tones. So in art we like to have different tones to make something look more interesting and three-dimensional. So we've gone from a dark orange tone to a light yellow tone. Tone just means the darkness or lightness of a color. Right, we're going to keep doing this on all of our oval. Now that we've finished coloring in our ovals, we're going to start outlining them with our black pastel. So you're just going to go around the edge of each oval at first. You need to press um, really hard with your black pastel and get a nice contrast or difference in color. If you don't press as hard, it doesn't stand out as much. So contrast is a very important art element and it helps to emphasize all of these um, orange ovals. It makes them stand out so much more if we've got a nice thick dark black line around the edge of them. Okay, so once I've outlined the oval, if there's any white space around it, I'm just coloring it in. Don't go onto this outside edge just yet. We're going to first outline our ovals. Okay. 
So I started with the top of my wing um, so that I don't smudge it. If you started with the bottom, then you would have your hand over it and you would end up smudging the black into the rest of the colors. So by starting at the top, I've got less chance of smudging it. I also started on the left hand side because I'm right handed, so I'll move across. But if you are left handed, you might want to start on the right hand side and move across this way so that you don't smudge your black. After we've outlined all of our ovals, we're going to move on to the outside edge of our butterfly's wings. Now, these have got lots of white dots on them. So what I'm going to do is just take my black pastel and draw tons and tons of circles. You can draw these circles quite close together because once we color in the background, um, it's going to look like they're further apart. So don't make them too far apart. It will end up looking like you don't have enough circles. When you're drawing these circles, make sure you press quite hard with your pastel. It will make it much easier to color in at the end. So pressing really hard, try and pack in as many circles as you can. Okay, now that we've drawn our circles in, we're going to go in and color in the spaces in between the circles. Now the edges of the butterfly's wings, they're not perfectly straight, so I don't want you to draw this nice clean line. You can almost just go around the edges of your circles with an extra outline, and it makes a bit of a jagged edge. It looks much more realistic in a perfectly straight line. You can pause the video again if you need to. Right, now that we've finished the edges of our wings, we're going to color in our, our insect's body. I'm going to flip my page around so that I don't smudge it um, with all this black that's here. And his body is also just going to be colored in in black. Press really nice and hard so that you get a dark, strong black. Go over all of your lines, his proboscis, and his feelers. The feelers have got like a little circle at the top of them. And there you have your monarch butterfly. I'd like you to finish off this picture however you want to, so be as creative as you like. You could add a flower, or maybe you just want to take um, some watered down food colouring and paint over it. It's not going to go onto the pastel and it will give you a nice light blue background. I'd like you to add your own creative flair to your picture um, and have fun with the background. If you had fun drawing this butterfly with me, please subscribe to get started. We put up tons of cool ideas every week.